rotation. So we're going to rotate triangle ABC about the origin uh, 90 degrees. That 90 degrees, uh, because it's positive, I know that's 90 degrees uh, clockwise, like that. And so now I need to figure out exactly how to do that. Uh, so I'm going to start with what A, where A, B, and C are. I'm sorry, I'm crossing over the camera here. We've got A is at 1, 1, 2, 3. B is at 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. And C is at 2, 1. And now when we rotate that 90 degrees, for me, I like to imagine actually turning it 90 degrees. So I'm going to think about how to rotate that 90 degrees end up down there. So I'm going to push this picture around. So in my head, I actually end up with that triangle down there in that um, fourth quadrant. <laughs> down there in that fourth quadrant. And so to do that, I picture the, I picture it being like this. So this is the Y, this is the X, those are positives, those are positives, these are negatives. And so I look at that A from this perspective, moves to one, two, three, negative one. The B from this perspective, one, two, three, four, the X is four, the Y is negative one, or sorry, negative three. And the C, is one negative two. Number 17, what is the pre-image of something given from the translation? So this one, uh, we have to move backwards. We're given the image and we're asked about the pre-image. So I know that I subtracted 17 to get to the 11. So I've got to think X minus 17 was equal to 11, which means x was equal to 28. And I also know that y plus 2 was equal to negative 4. So y must have been equal to negative 6, which gives me the point 28 comma negative 6. Number 15. We have a reflection the line x equals negative 1. So I'm going to draw that line x equals negative 1. Make sure that I'm thinking about the right line. And all I have to worry about here is point A. So I know point A started to the left of that line, and it was 2 to the left of the line. So I know when I reflect, it's going to end up 2 to the right. The y is going to stay the same, so 1, 2, 3. The x is going to change two, one. So we end up at one comma three. Now, we have a lot of, a lot of transformations going on here, compound transformation. So I want to first deal with the translation, and then I'll worry about the reflection. First the translation, and then the reflection. So I'm going to start with what A, B, C, and D are. A is at 4, 6. B is at 6, negative 1. C is at 3, negative 5. And D is at negative 1, 2. That first transformation is a translation, so all I'm going to do is the operations described here. I'm going to subtract 4 from the X and add 3 to the Y. 0, 9, 2, 2, negative 1, um, negative 2, and negative 5. Now I need to reflect those points across the x-axis. I can do this visually again with that reflection piece, or we can use that rule that we 
developed in class where reflection across the x-axis, that's going to take it from up to down. It's going to keep the x point the same, it's just going to negate the y. So I know 0, negative 9, 2, negative 2, negative 1, 2, negative 5, negative 5. That rule allows it to move a little bit quicker than having to sketch all those intermediate points. And now I can sketch that image after that, after its transformation. I'm going to end up with 0, negative 9, and that's going to be a double prime. 2, negative 2, that's going to be b double prime. Uh, let's see, is it negative 1, 2? C double prime and D negative five negative five D double prime. Right there.